Hi, welcome to this short screencast about Quartz Manager. I'm Mike Allen from Terracotta, the developers of Quartz and of the Quartz Manager. So what is the Quartz Manager? Quartz Manager is a GUI tool designed to help you manage your Quartz environment. It manages schedulers, it manages jobs, it manages triggers, it lets you see in a browser what's going on and to control the operation of all of your um, Quartz capabilities. How does it work? Quartz Manager is a Java process that talks via JMX to multiple Quartz scheduler instances in your applications. The user, you, then talk to Quartz Manager via HTTP from your browser. It, it delivers a flash GUI. So how do you run it? Very simple. First you need to make sure you have a compatible version of Quartz. You need version 183 or higher. If you have an older version, upgrading to that should be relatively straightforward. Then you need to make sure that JMX is enabled in your Quartz scheduler in its startup script. One key thing you'll have to remember is the port that you're communicating on. Here I'm using 1099 as my JMX port. Next you'll need to download the Quartz Manager. You can get a trial with a trial license from courts-scheduler.org. When you unpack the kit, you'll see two main components. One is a WAR file, one is a JAR file. The WAR file is Quartz Manager designed to run in your own container, such as Tomcat. The JAR file has its own embedded Jetty to container and is designed to run as a standalone Java process. You'll need to choose one of these two operational modes. Next, you need to configure Quartz Manager so that you can talk to it. Um, you need to pick a port for the HTTP communications here. I'm picking 9090. Um, and then you start the Java process, telling it you know, where to put its logs and find its config, what port, where to find the license key, and so on. And then you connect to it in your browser with the um, host and port, HTTP port that you've known. You then select a known Quartz instance specifying the host and the JMX port of that Quartz instance and then you start managing your Quartz schedulers. So let me show you how that works. I already have a Quartz uh, application here in which I can simply use a UI to add a scheduler to create a job detail and to begin triggering that job every second, one, two, and so on. And then I just start uh, the Quartz Manager. And in a browser, I connect to it. Once connected in the browser to the Quartz Manager, I connect on to the appropriate Quartz Scheduler. Here again the port 1099 for JMX that I chose for my Quartz Scheduler. Um, immediately I'm presented with a screen giving me an overview of what's happening in my Quartz environment. I see all the schedulers listed for each scheduler. I can check out the details. I can see that this is a um, using the RAM job store, that it's version 2.0 of Quartz, and so on and so on. I can put that scheduler in standby or shut it down. Within the scheduler I can see all the registered jobs. Remember I registered a job called My Job. And for that job I can see all associated triggers. Um, I can also add jobs. And if I'm using Quartz 2.0, also include triggers with those jobs and schedule them. So I can specify the job name, what class, the job data, and so on. So I can trigger new uh, activities and add new jobs. I can see an overview of all the triggers. I can see a history of all job execution. I can control all of my application um, behavior around courts. So that's all there is to it. If you go to http courts-scheduler.org, you'll be able to download a trial copy. Thank you.